Hello friends, welcome to my channel Cook with Rina. Today I have come up with a recipe, uh, uh, oven fresh recipe, uh, banana bread. I had two overripe banana, you can see. These are just very much ripe. So I thought of make, using it for making uh, banana bread. So for that, what you have to, uh, what you require is I have used whole wheat flour. I want to make it very healthy and vegan also. I will not uh, use any dairy product in this. So this is uh, uh, one cup of whole wheat flour and I'll use this is whole wheat flour and this in this I'll use half cup of uh, almond, uh, almond meal almond flour or whatever I have this just grinded the almond with skin and of course the two overripe banana and as a sweetener I will not use sugar I will use this dates I will uh, uh, soften it with water warm water and then grind it and see what I have done with this this is grinded softened dates I'll use that sweetener and along with this I'll use some uh, gourd that is date palm jaggery this is khajur gourd we say it comes from date date plant date tree juice of the uh, bark and uh, of course uh, baking powder and baking soda half a teaspoon and some mixed sorry some mixed seeds whatever you want you can use in this and some walnuts and for flavoring this is cinnamon powder i'll use i'll make it with uh, olive oil you can use uh, any oil rice bran oil or any refined oil you can use it so uh, let's start we'll start our work with sieving the flour first with these uh, baking powder and baking soda. Add half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Along with this, one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. It will give a great aroma. Now, I'll sieve it along, along all these things nicely. I'll pour everything in this sieve and I'll sieve it. This sieving is very essential while making cake or this kind of bread. It makes the uh, uh, flour lighter, fluffy and it helps in rising it. So I have put, as you see, uh, the bake, baking powder, baking soda and the cinnamon powder along with some salt to it. I have taken the sieved flour in this bowl. Now to this I will add this almond flour and give it a nice mix. Our dry ingredient is ready. Now we shall move to our wet in ingredient. For that, in the beginning we shall mash our this bananas. With some fork, you can mash it. I have mashed the potatoes, uh, sorry, the bananas, I'm sorry. Now, I'll do with the date, oil and the molasses. I mix all the wet ingredients. These are softened dates. This is that molasses, that date palm jaggery I said. This is enough for uh, sweetening and anyways this is not a cake, it's a bread so we don't need that much of uh, sweeteners in this and to this I'll add oil. Now 
now mix everything together Now add these mashed banana to this mix and these bananas will get mixed more nicely. Now what we'll do, we'll mix this wet ingredient to the dry ingredient. Make a well in the middle and pour this. Now give it a nice, nice stir. You actually don't need to whisk it anymore. You can fold it nicely with the spatula. So this is this is the consistency we are looking for. Now in this I'll add the seeds. You know. I have added some salted seeds also. It will give a nice taste along with the sweetness of the bread. This sometimes the bite of salted seeds will bring nice taste to the give nice taste to the bread. So it is now ready. We shall transfer it to the baking dish and Preheat the oven at 180 degree and you have to bake it for around about 40 minutes or till the knife comes out uh, uh, clean in, uh, in 180 degree only. So let's bake it. Now I have uh, greased this baking dish with oil. Now I'll transfer this mix to this baking dish. It will be quite tough, dense mix. This is now ready to go in the oven. Oven. Before that, we'll sprinkle some dates. Uh, sorry, uh, walnuts, which I had not mixed earlier. I thought, yeah, I put it on the top. It will look good, along with some more seeds. When it will rise, it will give a very attractive look and these seeds and the nuts will get toasted and it will be a dense bread. So, I'm uh, the, my oven is hot. I'm going to put it in the oven. The oven is hot. The, the thing is gone inside the oven for baking. Let's see after it will, uh, the oven is set in 180 degrees for 40 minutes. We shall check in 30 minutes and then we'll wait for 40 minutes. Look at this. So gorgeous looking. It's absolutely nicely baked. It's browned and if I'll insert the knife inside to check. See, it's coming out clean. That means it's nicely baked. It's absolutely clean. So now we have to give a rest to this cake for at least 10 minutes. And just after ten minutes, you just inverse this on the plate. It's quite hot till now. Oh, just see how nicely it is baked from below also.
brown nicely. It's a whole wheat bread. That's why it is so much of brown. It's so gorgeous. So I'll make a slice of it and show you how it looks from inside. Just see. Look at this. Look at this. It is still hot, so I should have done it a little later, but I couldn't stop myself. See, this I wanted to show you. It is. Nicely done. <coughs> Let it cool some more. Then it will be ready to eat. Thank you so much. I hope you have liked uh, this uh, video today. Please show some love by clicking on the like button. And do not forget to give your comments on this. And please subscribe uh, for getting notification of my new recipes. Thank you so much. See you soon with the new recipe.